size up your team's chances heading into uh, nationals? Well, we feel like we have a chance to go over there and play well. There's no question about that. You know, they've um, they've shown time and time again that, that they've been able to compete. You know, we feel like we've played in three national championship fields this year. We're down at Isleworth in the fall and um, and then again at Southern Highlands in Las Vegas. And then for starters, we played right here at the Capital City Club um, in the preview in September. So, uh, you know, we've played we've played against good fields on good courses and we've had success there. And and uh, I mean, it's going to be a big challenge. You know, it's the end of the year. Everybody's competing for the biggest prize in our sport. So, you know, everybody's going to be getting after it, much like they were at regionals and much like they were at conference. So, um, you know, we certainly know we have the capability. We've got to prepare and we have to, you know, do the things that allow us to play well when we're there um, to try to, put, you know, to try to put the best scores up. But but we certainly have the capability and, and we sh they, sh they should feel like if they do their job, they could have a great event. What does it mean to the program getting to this point and, and winning the region? It means a lot, you know, to, I mean, you know, it's never been done. We've never won conference and regionals in the same year. And, and um, you know, we've got a long standing history of success at UNM. And, and that's the one thing that these guys, when they look back 10 years down the road or whatever it is, when they look back at their college time, they'll know that they did things this season that had never been done at UNM before. And, you know, if you can be a part of that, that's that's a big time deal. And Winning regionals is huge. We've only won uh, two other times. You know, one was here in 02, and we actually were co-champions with Washington. And, and then to go win it outright on the road against some great teams um, means a lot. It, it says a lot about the work that these kids have done. And, and uh, you know, it says a lot about the support we received from, from our athletic department and from our community to allow us to, you know, to do those types of things. Coach, how much does it help to, to be tournament tested and, and be in, basically in contention for the majority of these tournaments that you guys have been in? It helps tremendously. I think it's a big part of why these guys were able to um, to really execute the way they did the final round at conference and regionals. You know, they we went into both of those days, uh, both final rounds. Anything can happen. You could win. You could finish fifth. You could finish whatever. I mean, you, anything can happen because it was tight. And um, and both times they've gone out and really after the front nine most of the questions were answered both at conference and regionals and so because of the situation that we've been in all year long with the exception of probably Hawaii you know we didn't have a chance to win Hawaii because Cal went bananas there but um, with the exception of that event we had a great chance to win almost every tournament going to the last round and and we also had a great chance to have a bad finish going to the last round because it was they were all very tight so being in those situations you know 10 times throughout the year certainly gave them experience to draw draw back on with that said does momentum play a factor at all in this uh, yeah it does I mean the thing with golf is different you know different course every time um, you know there's a lot of time in between events usually so I think momentum in the sense that they feel like they've played well a lot this year on this golf course on different golf courses against different teams uh, I don't know if it's momentum so as, as much as it's just confidence to know that you know our good is is good enough to compete very well and so we don't these guys shouldn't they don't feel like they have to do anything they haven't done before um, to go be successful in Georgia. Is it just having all five being consistent or is it having like the seniors step up and make the younger guys kind of step up as well or what? Well, you know, that, that kind of stuff there has really been a two-year process. I mean, the, the seniors who were juniors last year, um, our young guys, Gavin and Victor and even Sean Romero, who doesn't happen to be in the lineup now, but the two guys that are, they've, you know, they've seen, even Ben, who was a new guy to our program last year. So those guys spending two years with John and James, um, kind of seeing how they operate um, has definitely helped them um, de help them develop and and become big time role players for us uh, you know and, and big impact players and, instead of you know, just somebody who's trying to make the lineup and um, so really over the last two years that's all happened and and I think when those guys got better the seniors were you know that, that it's just great because they if you play great you know you might not even be the best guy on your team that day so there's there's definitely some stuff between the guys you know they they want to beat each other too which is perfect situation for us how much does James carry this team and what he does and what he brings well I mean certainly when he plays you know the better he plays the, the better we play but you can say that for all five guys I mean you know Ben Bauck who's played five all year has the same impact on our team I mean if he plays well the rest of the guys play well and, and so really they all contribute the same James James has led um, you know a great deal by example with uh, you know with the way he practices and and kind of the way he approaches the game and, and really guys that have known James for three or four years have been able to see how he's gotten better by doing the things that he's done the way he's done them and, and um, 
you know, that's been his biggest impact on our program is it's just the work ethic that he's shown and led by, you know, doing rather than saying. Coach, you've mentioned that the course plays a huge role in the tournaments you guys play in. Mm -hmm. What do you know about the Crab Apple? It's a great course. You know, we, we played there in September, and I'm not sure the difference in the if they get the same conditions there this time of year as they do in September. Rough may not be as thick, but it may be. I don't I don't know. I've never, you know, I'm, I'm just never been there in the spring. But it's a great golf course. It's long. There's only two par fives. One of them is not reachable at all. Um, I mean, maybe potentially for a couple guys, but um, it's just a great course. It's very fair. There's not a ton of hazards in play, not a ton of out of bounds in play. Um, similar to Ohio State, maybe just a little bit bigger golf course, meaning that it's it's not super tight, but the rough, if the rough's bad, it plays really tight because you, if you hit it in the rough, like we were there in September, there were times, certain holes, if you hit it in the rough, I mean, you could maybe advance an L wedge 50 yards, you know. So um, greens are good, you know, nice undulation, undulating greens, big modern design golf course. It hosted the 2004 American Express Championship. I think Tiger won at six under maybe, and Heron was second at maybe two under. So, um, you know, when those guys have trouble shooting double digits under par, you know it's a great golf course. So, um, no, 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 I, I, I like it. Our guys like it, and it's a course where it can reward some of our length if we get it in play, and it can reward some of our experience with course management. What kind of future do you see for a golfer like Victor and how he's developed? Victor, he got no chance. No, I'm just kidding. He's right there. Now, uh, Victor, he, uh, Victor has a great future ahead of him. You know, and, and the thing with Victor, and I would say this about Gavin too, just those guys have – had been on a really nice progression. You know, they've they were good players when they got here, and they've just they've worked hard. And you just continually see um, you continually see improvements. You don't see a huge spike in their play. They just continually improve, get a little bit better, a little bit better. And you know, sometimes it shows up when they expect it to, and sometimes it doesn't. You know, sometimes they may work on something for a while and feel like they're not getting anywhere. But sooner or later, they certainly see improvements in their game. And you know, they, they work so hard that those guys, they, they have their priorities very well in order, and, and they're very committed to doing well in the classroom and doing well in, in golf while they're here. They spend all their free time out here practicing. So if those guys continue to do what they've done and, you know, continue to keep an open mind and, and kind of stay out of their own way, um, they're going to they're gonna be, be as good as they want to be. I mean, they can, you know, they can accomplish some of the things that other guys have, have done before them here at UNM. What does Victor do well on the course? Um, Victor, you know, Victor does a lot of things very well. It's, it's hard to pinpoint one thing that that guy does very well. He has a, a very well-rounded game. Um, you know, I would say when he came here, maybe his, his putting and short game was maybe lacking compared to, compared to his, you know, tee to green game. He's always been very consistent tee to green, very good ball striker, but he's really improved his short game. He's, um, has many more shots around the greens than he had when he first came here. And that's due to just probably hanging around with James a little bit and um, spending a lot of time down in our practice facility working on different shots. And then he's become a much better, more consistent putter. Um, I know he's probably doesn't putt as well as he wants to, but he, you know, if he was going to answer that question honestly, he knows he's a better putter now than when he first came. And, um, and you know, so really he just, he does all those things very well, but he also has a very good mindset and a great perspective. Um, he's not going to beat himself, you know, in, in a round of golf. You know, his, his mind is, he's competitive, but he stays very, very patient and, and stays very even keel out there. So he always has a chance to shoot a good number because he always stays in the game.